Yeah. Hi everyone, welcome to Megan Sullivan Art. I am, excuse my chair moving in. I am here today to show you through a journal that I've just completed. Um, on my Facebook page and Instagram, you may have seen this collaged um, envelope that I did, an altered envelope. So it's one of the big, you know, uh, one that fits in like a um, A4 documents in it, flat. Um, so this is a completed um, product. So it's a butterfly themed journal, basically. So the front cover has all sorts of things collaged on it. I've used um, some antique papery butterfly house papers. Um, the wooden buttons, which are on here, and two on the signature strings. Um, I ordered a set from Whimsy Rebel Journals. Um, and some of the items through the journal are from the Graphics Fairy membership site. I've used some Kaiser Craft Butterfly Clear stickers and Paper Craft Handmade stickers, which came on those sort of foam things to sort of make them look a bit more 3D. So I took the foam bits off and um, glued them down. So this has a sari silk um, wrap around and it's attached um, via the button to the front cover. Um, so basically the journal, I can't measure for you, but it fits A4 size papers, which I've just had to trim the edges off a little bit. Um, so it's got 120 pages in one signature. So the front has been sealed. So there's an image under the window face, but there's, it's not a pocket, so that's completely sealed. Um, I've got this Ex Libris butterfly book plate. Um, a friend of mine got me these um, second hand. Um, absolutely stoked with those. So this is the antique papery paper. And you can see, you may see there's some um, champagne coloured stamping on there. And also some words and different images on the front. Um, on the back cover, um, as well, you'll see the champagne stamps there. Alrighty. So let's go in. So we've got a lot of coffee dyed paper. Um, this was a cutout from a kid's book about butterflies. Um, that's a Steve Parrish image onto some avocado dyed line paper, a bit of coffee dyed paper. Um, Wildflower book of Australian plants. There, this is one of the Kaiser Craft clear stickers. Um, this was a book on butterflies and there's lots of sketchy pages that are black and white and also colour so I've put that one in. This is Nevermore Creation 17 um, her ghosted butterflies kit pages which is one of her like one dollar kits. Um, all these yellow kind of vintage looking butterflies. Um, most of the journal cards in here are all from the public domain so I'll point out anything that isn't. So we've got those two and they're all backed on to, well this is avocado dyed paper uh, there's one of those um, paper craft handmade stickers which is glued down so it's got like the other layered element to it there, a little bit of a bling in the middle um, this is a book for Northern Territory kids with different kind of activity pages so it's quite a nice thick paper um, National History Museum page, Ghosted Butterflies. Um, another public domain image that I just cut out, glued down. Um, I got two colouring in books from Australia Post some time ago. One was just Australian wildflowers and one was just Australian birds. This is one of the wildflower pages. So it had a coloured plate on the left and the plate to colour in was on the right hand side. So obviously this doesn't marry up with the image on this side. This came out of a little photo album scrapbooky thing I got at our local rediscovery centre or our tip shop. Um, it's actually a coffee cup wrapper that someone had stuck into a scrapbook. So I salvaged that because it's beautiful. And in here, um, this is a calico collage freebie um, with some printed paper that was public domain. This is one of the Graphics Fairy Premium membership um, site. Um, library pockets and it's just um, these little pieces came from Whimsy Rebel Journals when I ordered those wooden butterflies this is a little concertina piece that she included so I decided to pop those in this journal and this is just a strip of coffee dyed paper so those little bits tuck in there Uh, 
a book page on Australian birds. Butterfly, this was from an, um, an antique illustrated plate of butterflies and then I've gone and fussy cut out those ones. Flowers again, another of those paper craft stickers, ghosted butterflies. Uh, public domain image, calico collage freebie. They're just onto different, backed onto different papers. I just had a stack of random papers sitting around. I thought, well, I'm going to use those. Gumtree image from that kids' activity book. Cosacraft sticker. Um, book on butterflies. So glossy images there of Australian butterflies. Or, yeah, I think they are Australian. The colouring page. Oh, this is from the, the index at the front of the book. So it lists the other plants in the book. Um, this was a random act of kindness. This was included, a butterfly stamp onto music paper. Bird book page with pigeons. Ghosted butterflies. Um, this is a public domain image, as is this one. And that's backed onto some green uh, journal card kind of paper. This is another graphics fairy little envelope with some pansies. And inside is, this is also Graphics Fairy that came with the same package. Um, onto Ledger and another strip of coffee dyed paper in there. That just slots in. Another fussy cut butterfly. Gorgeous. Um, again, pretty sure this is public domain. Um, already came with like the ageing around it. And two of the more of the butterfly buttons which I've just sewed onto the signature strings there really gorgeous so I highly recommend if you haven't got any of her buttons already to go check them out I can provide a link to Whimsy Rebel Journal's um, Etsy shop goes to butterflies bookbird page um, this was also in the RAK that's um, a Edith Holden book page book piece Butterflies, another fussy cut image there. So it's a very simple journal, loads of space. Um, okay, so this is a public domain image onto avocado dyed paper. Um, another one of the Graphics Fairy library pockets. And in there, this is a calico collage freebie from her website, which is a little mason jar backed onto a printed paper, and this is a writ dyed um, paper, writ fabric dyed paper. So there's the black and white illustrations of that butterfly book. So anyway, so the book has lots of space for people to further decorate and add photos, write in it, paint in it, whatever it is you choose to do. Public domain image, really gorgeous. Another, this is the Calico Collage Freebie. Um, this is another Graphics Fairy Premium Membership Envelope. And in there I've just got another strip of coffee dyed paper. And this, um, had it, had them for ages, but they're like animal kind of, kind of tarot card-y type things. So it's a butterfly, and then it's just got that pattern on the back. And then I've just sewn on some lined avocado dyed paper further writing space and that just slides in the back there butterfly book um, the calico collage freebie mason jar that's just glued down some gum nuts this is another calico collage freebie it's a little pocket heart of a gypsy it says gypsy love song onto ledger rose with a feather onto ledger and a gypsy lady so I've just staggered those um, in the pocket just so that you could see that there were three in there. Ghost of Butterflies kind of ties in well with the images of that butterfly book there. Um, this lining on the coffee dyed paper came from a cake rack kind of thing that I was using to dry my papers. Three Kaiser Craft butterfly stickers there. Book page. Um, another one of the paper craft 3D stickers there. And this is the back page, so it's got, um, it's only the antique papery page, pages, but they've all been collaged on top of each other. So the back section forms a pocket, which I have lined to the best of my ability. 
in there so it's not just the envelope color um, and in here in a second hand shop I just found this which was the front of a gift card obviously and on the back it just said Charmaine and Paul thank you for your hospitality so I've just included that in there um, this was an envelope that I'd found second hand and it just had this image on there um, so what I did was this is one of Musings by Nikki labels this was in my RAK which is on to Edith Holden page and this was another butterfly fussy cut from one of those antique um, or vintage butterfly sheets uh, we've got some avocado lined paper and just another um, image there onto matte photo paper so those two are included and they just live in the back pocket there so there we go oops sorry for moving the camera so I just wrap it around over the top of that pink butterfly and then just slide it underneath a couple of times and there you go closed up alrighty so thank you very much for looking at my butterfly journal leave any comments below if you like or any questions and I'll leave all the relevant links um, to whimsy rebel journals and to antique papery and the graphics fairy and anything else I can think of thanks very much guys bye